Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how file hashes can be used to identify and classify malware samples. Let's start with talking about what a file hash is. It is a value calculated on a file's contents using special algorithms. Even if one character in that file changes, its hash value would change too. The hash can be used to verify a file's integrity. Some commonly used hashing algorithms are MD5, SHA-256, and SHA-512. Here is a file with one sentence. I have used Certutal tool to find its MD5 hash. Here is another file with a small modification to the same sentence. Notice how the MD5 hash value is entirely different. When dealing with a malware samples, identifying its hash value is extremely beneficial. Here, I have identified the MD5 and SHA-256 hashes for a malware sample. Once you have identified a sample on your computer, you can use its hash value to search on websites like VirusTotal and Joe's Sandbox if the same sample has been observed in the wild. You can research across other blogs and malware reports to recover more information about it. The hashing algorithms MD5, SHA-256 and SHA-512 are calculated across the entire file. There are some more types of hashes that can be calculated, I'll tell you all about it. Let's start with import hash or imp hash. Windows executables typically import functions from shared libraries. The list of imported libraries and specific order of functions imported is stored within the executable in a table called import address table. The imp hash is the hash value generated from the import address table. In some cases, malware authors reuse sections of code across different samples. It is possible for the imp hash to be consistent across multiple files that belong to the same malware family. Here, I have three malware samples belonging to the agent Tesla family. Notice how all three samples have the same imp hash value. This means the same sequence of imported functions has been used by all the three samples. Next, let's talk about what fuzzy hash is. A special algorithm is used to calculate the level of similarities between files and generate a hash value referred to as fuzzy hash. It is formally referred to as context-triggered piecewise hash. SSDeep is a tool that can compute fuzzy hashes for files. I have used it to find the fuzzy hash of two similar batch scripts that belong to the same malware family. We can see that the values are quite similar. We can compute the fuzzy hash of one sample and store it in a text file. Then we can identify the level of similarity between both samples. Here the two files are 99% identical to each other. Fuzzy hashes are also a great way to identify malware samples belonging to the same malware family. There is another type of hash called PE section hash, where the hash value is computed for each section within a portable executable. This can also help identify potential code reuse. PE hash is a Linux command line tool that can generate various hashes for a file. It can also generate hashes for a particular section in a Windows portable executable. On websites like Malware Bazaar that host numerous samples, you will typically find a range of hash values computed for each sample. You can also browse for all samples having the same imp hash value. Once you have identified the various hash values for a malware sample, you can use it to run YARA scans and enhance the detection rules for intrusion detection systems, 
to determine the presence of a specific malware or related samples. A hash value is an excellent indicator of compromise. I hope you have a good idea now about the different types of hashes and how they can be used to identify and classify malware samples. I invite you to also take a look at some additional reference materials in our library. You can find the link to those articles in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!